Yesterday, we looked at a verse that told us to store treasures in heaven uh, rather than on earth. And then there's a verse in the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus says, your eye is like a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is filled with light. But when your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is filled with darkness, Matthew 6, 22 through 23. And when you read about uh, the eye and, and the health of your eye, right after you read about generosity, it seems like Jesus just did a, whole, a hard subject change here. But that's actually not the case at all. These verses are also about generosity. These verses about healthy eyes and unhealthy eyes, they're actually Hebrew proverbs. And um, in, in the Hebrew tradition, when they would talk about a healthy eye, they were talking about a generous person. When they talked about an unhealthy eye, they were talking about a stingy or a selfish person. And so this was, these were he, Hebrew idioms that you see all throughout Scripture. Here's an example. Proverbs 23, 6 says, don't eat with people who are stingy. But that's not actually what the, the original Hebrew says. The original Hebrew says, don't, have an unhe- don't eat with people who have an unhealthy eye. And so I think sometimes we miss the translation because our, the people who, or we miss the literal meaning because uh, the translators just translate it into what it means rather than what it actually says. And there's verses like this all throughout the Bible. So if we are selfish with our money, then our lives are filled with darkness. If you have an unhealthy eye, then your life is filled with darkness. And so if you want to get on the fast track to depression, that darkness then get consumed with getting everything that you want. Spend time and money on yourself. But if you want a life of life of light, then if you want peace and hope and joy, then live generously. That's what the light life is. That's what it means to have a healthy eye. If you live generously, you will be blessed. It takes faith to believe it. I understand that, but it is absolutely true. So would you have a conversation today about your current generosity habits? Are you living generously? Do you have a healthy eye?